This episode of Travel Guide begins here beside Brilliance of the Seas. This is going to be my home and 2,004 other guests for the next one week, also including crew members, which number over 1,000. We're going to bring you activities on board, activities you never would think happens on a ship as well as as we tour the united arab emirates we will bring you all of the tales and this you will enjoy for the next few weeks on travel guide on channels television the 2002 german built ship is 294 meters long and 32 meters wide It has 13 floors, which in this case is called decks, and it holds all that is needed to live comfortably for as long as a planned vacation. <laughs> On the 10th deck, where the controlling of the ship is done by crew members, headed by Captain Henrik Lotzorensen from Denmark, he gives us a tour of the bridge from where the ship is run. This is where we drive the ship from. You see here in the back, uh, our group coordinator, of course, sitting in the chair. She doesn't drive the ship, so, um, but the guy behind her is the first officer. He drives the ship. So uh, right now we are in the Gulf of Oman. If you look outside, you can see a lot of ships uh, around us. And we are heading up to the Strait of Hormuz, which is between Iran and Oman. And then we are going to be heading into the Arabian Gulf. Mm -hmm. so, as I mentioned, we have a guy there. He's still taking care of us. Mm -hmm. so, as I mentioned, we have a guy there. He's still taking care of us. Mm -hmm. so, Captain Sorensen, who has 10 years' experience, says he has to work for 10 weeks on board, during which he has to be at full alert. It's run a business unit, so it's every aspect of the operation. It's the, um, the, the deployment of the ship, it's the fuel, it's the guest experience. Uh, so it, the position of a captain has more evolved in from like a glory. Uh, and uh, we, uh, of course, are in, in, I'm ultimately responsible for the operation, not only the, the safety and security of everyone, but for the entire operation. He then takes 10 weeks off. We have a lot of power. The work of the captain and position of the ship can be viewed by guests on television monitors all over the ship. While the captain ensures the smooth running of the ship, the comfort of guests motivates the organization and categorization of staterooms, which are spread over the 13 decks. There is a grand suite which can accommodate four occupants comfortably. It has a bar, a balcony and view of the sea. The family suite has almost the same features. But has room for eight people who can use bunk beds, pull out sofa beds. It also has an additional bath. The family 
Little Estate's room has two bedrooms in which there is a bunk bed and a pull-out sofa bed designed for six occupants. There is also the normal stage room with the alternative of either one occupant or two. Top on the list is the Royal Suite with many luxury and stylish features ranging from the curtain Piano, Grand Bar, paintings, well designed doors to jacuzzi and well thought out restrooms. State room attendants try to impress guests further by seemingly little gestures such as displaying napkin artistry. All these are maintained by crew members who have been grouped into different departments to handle daily running of the ship and ensure comfort of guests. This arrangement sees them spending as long as seven months on board before they take two months break. In the beginning it was not really that easy, it was a little bit difficult, but now, like uh, about two years ago, they put this program in place, whereas like uh, your, our files are linked, so Shoreside, when, when uh, they pull up one file, it comes out with spouse or your husband, and they are linked, and they know that you are in a couple, and they will try to keep that in mind, because they are different departments, right? So Shoreside, they are separate, so they would not know. But that way they know, and that way they know we are together, and Can they will keep babies? us. Can you have babies? On board? <laughs> well, you can get pregnant. We had colleagues that got pregnant and, you know, they kept on doing their contract until at a certain point and then when they went home and then they came back. We did have some pregnant uh, girls on board. The break period to them could even be boring. Oh, when I go back home, it's uh, difficult because we are used to the ship so much that uh, you kind of feel like moving. It's like, a, it's, uh, we call it sea, you got your sea legs here on board and your inner balance adjusted. And then you move, you kind of have a movement like this. And uh, the people will sure I think that you're moving, but you're, you don't feel that, you know, and they keep telling you to stop moving and we're not, you know, it's just a feeling that you get. Guests have the option of spending their days in the room, dipping in the pool, the scenery visiting the casino Taking a walk around the ship, or taking part in the many sports activities, which include table tennis, <laughs> basketball. Ball. Golf simulator.
visiting the gym playing snooker They can also play shuffleboard tournament which involves pushing discs into a column with numbers. The player with the highest accumulated number at the end of the game wins. Rock climbing has been factored in. A 27 feet high artificial rock with specially designed features to ease the fear of even first timers. Assurance also comes in the kitting, which is handled by professionals who use standard gear. The sound of victory is heard in the ringing of the bell. It was exhilarating, it really and truly was. Loved it. That's the first time I've rock climbed before, but I enjoyed it thoroughly. I, funnily enough, I was more scared coming down than I was climbing up. The free fall coming down, I mean, they, they're supporting you, but uh, I was more worried about coming down than, than climbing up. I'm, I'm in a harness, so there's no reason for me to be scared, but it was great. I actually climbed up. I had a bit of a competitive person next to me. Um, yes, normally I'm quite competitive, so it was quite thrilling to get to the top, but yeah, I was second. I wish I was first, but I was second today. But tomorrow I'll find a young child, which they're normally quite good. So if I, maybe if I find a slightly older person, I'll do that again tomorrow. After overcoming the initial fear, there is most of the time the desire to repeat the experience. Our, our type of guests, obviously when we have younger families and stuff like that, when you get there, you're going to have the kids that want to go and then the kids are there, they want mom and dad to try and all kinds of things. The children also have their own specially designed section. These activities are compiled on a daily compass and also recorded for broadcast on Royal Caribbean Television. No, let's pretend we have ten teams. Okay, right. I know you, you six people say yeah. the sixteen say cut it. Okay, right. And four say send it. Who's gonna get the <laughs> With special activities slated for the evenings, one of them is the white party.
activities for the party is eats and dance. It offers the kitchen staff the opportunity to show off their creativity. Uh, well, we have, every cruise we have a, a, a pool party, something by the pool, a midnight snack. Basically, it's uh, something we can show our, our skills. We can have uh, different decorations. We have fruits, carvings, um, ice carvings coming out later. Uh, basically, it's a snack they can have after they have the dinner. Uh, even though we had too much food already, we have more food. So, uh, Basically, it's a showcase for us to show what we can do a little bit different in decorations. Basically, the theme is... Uh, is uh, wildlife, so we have a big giraffe, we have uh, a gorilla, we have uh, monkeys, we have all that kind of stuff to have a bit of a theme to the buffet. It's a bit more of a fun, people can walk around, they can have a nice show, they have listen to music, they have a little bit of food and some drinks, so it's a little bit, a little bit of a combination of uh, different things. In spite of the beauty, which takes as long as seven hours to prepare, the chef is happier when the food and fruit are cleared off at the end of the party. Pretty much, hopefully, everyone is satisfied. Everyone's full. No more. Uh, no one is hungry. Hopefully, <laughs> and then just just the, the the visual effects and the wow effect of actually the whole buffet and, and complete with the the decorations and something that um, the guests don't expect. Something a little bit unusual. They come up here, they expect okay, we a little bit of music and stuff, and then they get on top of that. There's a bit of food and a little bit of decoration. Something they don't really expect to see in a restaurant or a hotel. And a cruise ship, is a, it's, it is completely different to a hotel experience in regards to um, the entertainment. And, and, and this, we hope to entertain the people with the food and the decoration. The other part of the night, which is entertainment, is handled by the cruise director, Cody Cotsworth, from Sheffield in the United Kingdom. He is also in charge of all entertainment and leisure activities on board. Uh, we have, uh, it's called a Dancing Under the Stars party. It's a Caribbean night. So we'd, we'd all wear Caribbean shirts, uh, we'd have Caribbean shorts on, however, we're not in the Caribbean anymore. So a, a cruise director I worked with a while ago said, well, a European thing would be to wear white. You know, when you go into Europe, in the Middle East as we are now, you've got a lot of the dress because the heat is white. So, and most people will always bring white clothes on, on holiday or on their vacation, right? So we make it a white night, and if you look, you've got a high percentage of the people that have probably not gone out of the way to get white but they've all packed white so it makes it for a good night and it's a, it's a it looks nice right it does it looks nice <laughs> I just want people to have a good time. If they're having a good time, I'm doing my job right. I know that's changing the conversation completely, but I'm here to try and make sure everyone's having a good time.
it's not coming to an end anytime soon because we have four more days. That means on Travel Guide you can keep on seeing the activities. Meanwhile, we go on a break. You can go to our website www.channelstv.com and you will see all that we have enjoyed on this episode of the program. Until next time, I'm Vinnie Thompson. <laughs>